we're looking at the bladder opening of the dog, it's an, it's an important feature that a lot of people forget, but we'd like to have you do is it helps you to, as you're rubbing your hand over the dog, you can see the different fascias, the way the skin is standing up. You can feel hot and cold areas. When we rub our hand over the top of the dog, it will help to open up the areas of the bladder meridian to show us what's going on. So there's a points along here that we call association points that helps to determine what's going on with the dog when we find pain. So when we physically do the bladder opening, we're gonna run our hands over the bladder meridian line. That line runs from about the uh, top of the eyes all the way down to the last toe, down the back to the last toe of the dog, about two to three inches along the spine. So you're just gonna simply take your hand and you're going to rub over the top and then bring it down. And you can do both legs and then come back and do it again and rub down and just pay attention to the dog as you're doing this. Sometimes they'll yawn or they'll, they'll, they'll tend to, and, and you want to go really, really slow. Like when he yawned, if I was going a little slower, I would have been to tell when, what part of the bladder meridian that he yawned to, and then it might give me an indication of something's going on. And this will help to determine what is going on with your dog and help you to understand what is actually happening with him. So to reiterate, these are great for any dogs that have a, sen a sensitivity or it's just the first time they ever use lights and we want to get them used to it. But the big thing is it puts them into what's called parasympathetic mode. So now they're ready to have any other kind of light work done to them.